Hi guys, today we're going to finish unit 3 with lesson 3B. This is B1A video class, so let's learn English together. Our topic today is about the world's best cities to live. So, what attracts people to live in a place? Let's check. Today's topic is about the 10 best livable cities in the world. We're gonna talk about what makes people feel attracted to live in a city, right? So, let's go ahead. Can you recognize this city? It's considered one of the best cities to live in the world, right? Would you like to live there in this beautiful city named London? The city of London has been a magnet for smart talent. London ranks one of the first positions in the world for people who want to live there because of its education, the quality of its universities, and of course, a lot of other things. Things like nightlife, shopping, restaurants, and the famous pubs of London, right? Of course. If you visit London one day, you will recognize and understand why this famous city has attracted so many people to live there, right? This is another city that ranks the best position in the world to a place where people would love to live, right? That's New York. So, New York is one of the top ranked city in the US that moves up a global spot as an experiential sensory powerhouse obsessed by welcoming the world. A visitor just has to look up, and what visitor can resist looking up? To realize that Manhattan is reaching radical new heights, while there is a rising concentration of towers in Hudson Yards, the air above many Manhattan neighborhoods has been forever changed. Lots of building, nightlife, restaurants, shopping. There are lots of things to do there in New York and that is one of the reasons why so many people feel attracted to live there, right? There are lots of attractions to visit there in this fantastic city. New York is famous for its museum, especially the ones that involve modern art. Another thing that it's very important to see there is about the shows, right? And of course, that's one of the reasons why people love New York, because of its variation of culture, right? And this Beautiful one here. Can you recognize it? You can see one of the most visited attractions here in this picture, but it is Paris. Despite the destruction of its iconic cathedral and a lot of terrorist attacks, seemingly in a lot of disasters and hardship. Paris, this beautiful city, prevails and comes back brighter. This city in France has attracted million foreign tourists. And of course, the city maps the top spot in our shopping category. Beating out New York and London for the first time in 2020, right? So the cafes, the shopping centers, especially the towers, the church, everything there in Paris attracts people to visit. What about this one? Can you identify which city it is? So, this is in Japan, Tokyo. It is one of the most futuristic metropolis and it is today tapping its ancient roots by investing in street level livability and resident well being. Despite earthquakes, tsunamis, and a lot of other tragedies, 
Tokyo continues being one of the most attractive cities in the world, round the clock in medic, mobility, innovation, and efficiency. And it continues to mesmerize the global visitors. It ranks one of the top positions for landmarks, neighborhoods, for outdoors. Indeed, parks are considered vital infrastructure here and essential therapy for its vertical living citizens. Take, for instance, its beautiful scenery. This one is intriguing and increasingly hungry for global attention. Russia's capital is a cultural gold mine spanning the age, so this is Moscow. A lot of people fall under the spell of Moscow. The minutes they set foot in this endless, fascinating and dynamic metropolis. Curiosity about Moscow has increased as political intrigue has grown, of course, which might explain why Moscow was the top hashtag city on Instagram. The city offers a bounty of classic attractions, including the masterpiece of Russian architecture, that is, St. Basil's Cathedral, the Kremlin, and Red Square. Two heritage sites that are also the historic and the spiritual heart of the city and, of course, the Gorky Park. But the city also rewards venturing off the beaten path, which has the bizarre bars, tasty and increasingly locally sourced meals and daring fashion boutiques, right? Take a look at this beautiful city here in the U.S. Can you see above there those letters? Hollywood, you see? So Los Angeles keeps breaking tourism records and it unveils one multi-billion dollar infrastructure project after another. While many U.S. cities saw a drop in international visitation, Los Angeles, which makes our world's best city stop for the first time this year, ascending four spots year over year, surpassed 50 million annual visitors and reached the target two years ahead of schedule. Would you like to live there in this city, L.A., Los Angeles? in the state of California in the United States, another city considered one of the best to live, is an immersive step back in time. Few cities serve up the ability to walk the history of the Western world like Rome. Declarations of love for the city have multiplied with the channels of self-expression, of course, and the city is in the top 10 best cities to live ranking in our expensive category about place. If you have visited this city, you can remember what the song says about it. It says, I left my heart in San Francisco. So, San Francisco is famous for a lot of job opportunities and infrastructure built out paved the way there as the world continues to rush in. So, what has attracted so many people to live there? San Francisco has embraced seekers since the gold rush days, when Similarly, overnight, people came from Asia and Europe, from across the continent and from the other side of the world for the shot at the California dream. No wonder it has been considered one of the top places to live, including for post-secondary educated residents. The inflow of people into San Francisco is why the city's airport is a hive of renovation and innovation. This city has a promise of high salaries and it means a torrent of global workers for the city's ambition and ideas. Would you like to live in the prosperity city? In Madrid, 
everything old is new again, and with much needed investment in its bounties, infrastructure, and public assets, the Spanish capital is finally reviving its city building legacy. It's not only the well known culture originally, the city has the best nightlife on the planet, just behind Berlin and ahead of Paris. It's finally making it easier and more pleasant to stay out late. So, would you like to visit Madrid or live there? America's great Midwest metropolis has an abundance of programming and culture with the deep infrastructure and affordability that eludes many cities. So that's Chicago, an expanded river walk, a world-renowned culinary scene that includes a number of restaurants that are award-winning, cultural attractions, lots of vibrant nightlife clubs, and, of course, it has been attracted a lot of visitors and also people who want to live there. To help with that, it does an impressive job telling the world about its offering through Instagram, TripAdvisor, Google searches and a lot of other media. So would you like to visit this place or live there? What about in Brazil, which is the city that has attracted a lot of people to live there? Can you recognize this photo? It is Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo is famous for its variations of cultural aspects because of immigrants. And also you can find lots of diverse restaurants. Now, let's read an article about another city that has attracted so many people to live and visit there, right? This city is Reykjavik. Let's read it. Does the author make Reykjavik sound like a good place to live? Let's check. Because Reykjavik is the capital of Iceland, you might think it is a bit dirty and polluted like many other capital cities. However, it is without doubt one of the cleanest places you will ever visit. One of the most popular activities here is swimming or bathing in spas. In addition to the many heated swimming pools in Reykjavik, just outside the city is the Blue Lagoon a geothermal a spa in the most incredible surroundings. Overlooking the city is Mount Asia, where locals go hiking among the beauty mountain flowers and breathe in the fresh air. In just a few hours, you can go skiing, caving, snorkeling, or even whale watching. And because the air is so clean, you get some simply stunning views of the star-filled sky. Of course, the sky is even more spectacular when you can see the aurora, a natural light display that can be seen this far north. This magical sight is something you just have to see at least once in your life. With only 200,000 inhabitants initially, you get the impression that Reykjavik is a quiet city in a beautiful location, but actually, there are a lot of really cool things going on. The nightlife in Reykjavik is not to be missed, with many of the nightclubs staying open till 4 a.m. on the weekends. There are also museums, including a fantastic modern art museum, concert halls, and theaters. And being fairly small, it's a great city to walk or bike around. Another thing that makes Reykjavik a great place to live is the excellent food. At first glance, the city may seem to be all about fish, and the fish here is great. You have to try the salmon. But in fact, there are also plenty of places serving more international food. The most famous is Bajirian's Betsu, which has the most delicious hot dogs in the world. And then there is the ice cream, 
You might think Reykjavik is too cold for ice cream. However, Icelanders can never get enough. You often see long lines of people waiting in the rain or snow to buy their favorite ice cream from Valdis, the best parlor in the city. If you ask me, Reykjavik is truly unique with all the advantages of a city, like interesting cultural activities, delicious food, and a lively nightlife, but also the most beautiful countryside in the world. Come, join me here. You won't regret it. And right here on the left, the author is saying, Why not move it to Reykjavik? I've been living in Reykjavik for several months now, and I can highly recommend it as a fantastic place to move to. One of my favorite things is the beautiful nature surrounding it, and the clean and healthy life you can live here. So, did you like the idea of living there, in this beautiful city, Reykjavik? Think about it. Take a look at this sentence from the article. This magical site is something you just have to see at least once in your life. Why do you think the writer here uses these exaggerated language like this? What is the intention when you write something like this? Here is the answer. The intention is to be persuasive. When the author wants to use very exaggerated words, he wants to be persuasive. So the ability today here is writing a persuasive article. So let's learn the skill. When you write a persuasive article, state your opinion about a subject and try to convince the reader to agree with you. First, Clearly state your point of view on the topic. Second, give reasons for your opinion and support them with facts and examples. The third one, the third one, use persuasive language to convince your reader. Example, fascinating, without a doubt, etc. So here we have an exercise. You're going to complete the sentences with the words from the box. The words are initially, first glance, might think, but in fact, however, actually. So you're going to check the answers in the article. Let's pay attention here and match the words to the sentences. Number one, because Reykjavik is the capital of Iceland, you... It is a bit dirty and polluted like many other capital cities. It is without doubt one of the cleanest places you ever visit. Let's check in the article. As you can see, we have the first paragraph. Because Reykjavik is the capital of Iceland, you might think it is a bit dirty. However, it is without doubt one of the cleanest places you will ever visit. Here we are. Number one, you might think it is a bit dirty and polluted, like many other capital cities. However, it is without doubt one of the cleanest places you will ever visit. Remember, however indicates opposite. Okay? And might think indicates possibility. The second one, with only 200,000 inhabitants, you get the impression that Reykjavik is a quiet city in a beautiful location, but there are a lot of really cool things going on. Let's check in the article. So here we are. With only 200,000 inhabitants, initially you get the impression that Reykjavik is a quiet city in a beautiful location. But actually, there are a lot of really cool things going on. So, here it is. Number two. Initially, you get the impression that Reykjavik is a quiet city in a beautiful location. But actually, there are a lot of really cool things going on. Let's go ahead. In number three. At. 
first glance or at but in fact which one do you complete the city may seem to be all about fish there are also plenty of places serving more international food let's check in the article let's check here we have Another thing that makes Reykjavik a great place to live is the excellent food. At first glance, the synonym is at first sight, right? The city may seem to be all about fish, and the fish here is great. You have to try the salmon. But in fact, there are also plenty of places, a lot of places, serving more international food. Let's go back to the exercise. Finally, number three, at first glance, at first sight, the city may seem to be all about fish, but in fact, there are also plenty of places serving more international food. Remember, but in fact, but indicates opposite, just like however, remember? So, when we have these expressions used in the previous exercise, we are contrasting expectations with reality. And the taxi builder today is about this. We use the following expressions to contrast expectations and first impressions with the reality of a situation. Examples. Initially, you get the impression that Reykjavik is a quiet city in a beautiful location. But actually, there are a lot of really cool things going on. You see? Initially, you get the impression that... But actually, we have a contrast of something that you expect to be true and the real situation, right? The second example. At first glance... The city may seem to be all about fish, but in fact, there are also plenty of places serving more international food. Again, the situation is contrasting something that you expect with the reality. At first glance, at first sight, the first time that you arrive there, you have an expectation. But then, in fact, you have another reality, right? And the last one, you might think Reykjavik is too cold for ice cream. However, Icelanders can never get enough. You see again? You might think it is your expectation, okay? It's possible for you to think about that. But in fact, but in reality, we have the opposite. So that's why we use however. However, indicates the reality, the opposite of what we expect. So, this is it. Let's practice a little. Exercise 7, we're going to practice a little about what we have learned, right? You have the two parts here. You're going to match the numbers with the letters correctly, right? So, number 1. Initially, you get the impression it's a busy place. Number two, you might think it's too cold for a vacation destination. Number three, at first glance, it seems a bit expensive. You're going to match the sentences with A, B, or C. A, however, you can enjoy the various spas and hot springs most times of the year. B, but actually, there are many budget hotels available. And C, but in fact, there are some lovely, quiet back streets. So which of the sentences best matches each of the numbers here? 1, 2, and 3. Let's do it. Let's check. Number 1. Initially, you get the impression. And you complete with letter C. But in fact, you see? So let's check the answers. Number 1. Initially, you get the impression it's a busy place. Letter C. But in fact, there are some lovely, quiet back streets. The contrast is the impression, the expectation that you think it's a busy place. But in reality, in fact, there are quiet 
back streets, right? Number two, you might think it's too cold for a vacation destination. This is your expectation. The answer is letter A. The contrast of your expectation is the reality. However, you can enjoy the various spas and the hot springs most times of the year. You see? So you have this expectation. Too cold for a vacation. But... You can enjoy spas, hot springs, most times of the year there. All right? Totally the opposite, right? And the last one, number three. At first glance, it seems a bit expensive. The correction here is letter B. But actually, there are many budget hotels available. At first sight, at first glance, you have an expectation that everything there is a, a lot expensive, right? But letter B shows the opposite, but. And the contrast of the reality here is that you can find a lot of budget hotels available. When I say budget hotels available here in letter B, you are saying that budget means something that you can pay for it. It's not a bit expensive, right? You can pay for that. So, this is the end of Unit 3. And I finish this lesson with a question to reflect about it, right? Would you like to live here in this city, in Reykjavik? What are the reasons that you really got impressed about living there? What are some of the expectations that you have about this city? And what is the reality that you discover here in this lesson? All right? Thank you for watching this video class about Unit 3, Lesson D. This is the end of Unit 3. Let's go ahead in Unit 4 right now, okay?